So should we have a look at your baby? You're 27 weeks now, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Listen to baby's heart beating. Oh, that's a nice one, isn't it? It's always good, isn't it? Birth defects represent one of uh, the major cause of morbidity and mortality in children. And there's about three every hundred baby which are born with a major birth defect. We are facing many times with a situation in which we don't know what to do for these babies. Big to go. Okay. <laughs> If I collaborate with Paolo Di Coppi, I look after the mums while they're pregnant. Paolo visits the fetal medicine unit and he sees the mums if the baby has an abnormality because he looks after the baby when they're born. Um, and we're trying to develop treatments uh, using uh, stem cells in the amniotic fluid around the baby. The stem cells have represented a major breakthrough because it's the possibility of growing cells outside the body to make a repair uh, to the children once the cells have been built in the laboratory. So what we have developed in the last few years, and this has been initially the work uh, we have done with Anthony Atala at the Wake Forest Institute of Regenerative Medicine, and is the possibility of deriving stem cells from the amniotic fluid. These are not embryonic stem cells, but are neither adult stem cells. They have characteristics that are in between the two cell type and for that they may represent a big advantage for therapy. These cells would represent an ideal source for building organ and tissue that are missing in the fetus. And this is because we can predict and diagnose very accurately these diseases before the fetus is born. Once this diagnosis is made, however, we have about 20 weeks of gestation in which we can plan the engineer organ to be built outside the baby that then can be eventually implanted once the baby is born. So we can correct that defect at birth using its own cells. Here is uh, where we do receive the samples from Anas. Once the cells are isolated from the amniotic fluid, they can be easily expanded in the incubator and eventually engineered in a three-dimensional structure that can mimic the organs that the baby is missing. These organs can be expanded and grow in these bioreactors. We haven't got any treatments that will actually work yet, um, but we're working on this whole area. Uh, for instance, the mum that we scanned earlier on um, has got a completely healthy, normal baby, as far as I can tell on scan, and you know, we're not looking to treat anybody right now, but we are trying to develop new treatments which will improve already existing treatments or to develop completely new therapies using the stem cells that are in the amniotic fluid. In other situations in which we can intervene even before birth, we can use the same cells to treat the fetus. So if we know that the fetus has some malformation that can be corrected before birth, we can use its own cells to, uh, for a treatment. So we can culture his, his or her cells outside the womb and expand them and eventually correct, for example, a gene that uh, uh, is altered or missing using gene therapy technique. And we can inject back the cells into the fetus before uh, birth. And so somehow improving uh, his option of life once the baby is born.